Hello, everybody. This is part two of your um, video to make your famous, it'll be famous, I promise you, <laughs> on chicken pie uh, for the holidays. I'm Mimi, uh, owner of OT Yoga and also of Zolo Kitchen. Zolo Kitchen is a, um, I do plant-based consulting, help people to create comfort food that's plant-based. Uh, and I'm also a yoga teacher of a few years. So, if you skipped over the how to make the pie dough, I'm fine with that. Um, you've got that sitting in your fridge if you went to buy some store-bought. And next step is we're going to make the filling. So, medium-sized onion. You know, if you're baking, like if you're making like breads and cupcakes and stuff like that, it's very precise. Stuff like this, a little bit less so. So, I mean, you know, if you love onion, you put more onion. You don't like onion so much, you don't put that much onion in. It's fine. Okay? So we're going to use a half of a medium-sized onion. And this is how I do my chopping. So I've got a flat surface. That's important, so it's not rolling around. And I've got two flat ends. So I'm going to hold the two flat ends. And I'm going to make long cuts really close together. Oh, my goodness. Ah, it's one of those onions that really gets you. Turn it around, and then I'm going to cut, cut across those slices. And I end up with a nice, fine dice. What's it called? Sulfuric acid? I don't know what it is in these, but... Now, I already have my pan heated up, and I'm going to give you a quick... Um, Talk, just a quick discussion around the pan. I'm using one of my favorite um, uh, cast iron pans. It's very well seasoned. What well seasoned mean is it's nonstick. So if you're making this with tofu, you need... <laughs> What's going on? If you're making this with tofu, you need to use either a well seasoned cast iron pan or a non-stick pan. And the reason is, is because tofu sticks like crazy to most surfaces. So it's a little bit of a pain in the ass um, in that regard. That said, um, this is just my broth that I'm getting ready for later. Um, that said, I prefer this recipe with tofu. If you are not a tofu fan or you think you're not a tofu fan, I would try it first with the tofu if you still don't like it. Um, this is a wonderful product, tofurkey, uh, plant-based chicken. It's already like shredded. And I use this for like chicken soup. It's so good. Um, they have it at Star Market, Somerville, just so you know. Okay, anyway, so let's go back. We're putting the onions. Now, I love this. It's one of my favorite tools if you did the uh, pie crust with me, you saw me using this for the pie crust, but it's also wonderful for transporting. Now I've got my pan on sort of low to medium, so when I hit the pan with the onion, they're sizzling. Okay, so we've got those in the pan, and uh, my husband's trying to figure out if he can walk across the screen. Yes, you can, my love. Well, I need something from over here. Okay, Hello, everyone. Hi, Opite. It's my husband, Steven. Hello. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to get the tofu out. And I recommend using a super firm tofu and one that has been vacuum packed, like this kind of packaging. It just means it's a little easier to work with. And there is still water in there, so you want to drain it out. But I don't press my tofu. I don't. I know everybody says you're supposed to. I never do. And it's still fine. So don't worry about it. Okay? So we're going to do sort of a similar kind of thing with the tofu, right? We're going to go down. And then we're going to go down again. So we're basically making cubes that are even. And then this way. You see how you get nice, even sized tofu? Now, again, if you're working with tofu, I'm going to say... I like to see it in the pan. So one, two, three. I'm going to look at what I'm doing so I don't cut my fingers. One, two, 
two, three, and then turn, and then here's your quarters. Um, I like to brown it up a little bit more than, I don't think this requires as much sauteing. So we're gonna get the tofu in with the onions. And I'm gonna say, like 10 minutes. Um, you should hear it sizzling. Can you hear it sizzling? I hear it sizzling. <laughs> and obviously use a big enough pan that you can really well distribute the tofu and the onions in the fuss a lot with it because honestly when you're sauteing stuff the point of it is for it to have contact with the hot surface so if you keep stirring it you never get anything cooked uh, thoroughly so just let it be you know check it in like three or four minutes that's it okay in the meantime um, we're gonna need about three and a half three and a half half um, cups of vegetable broth or better yet and this is one of my favorite favorite products ever it is called um, this is uh, Edward and Sons not beef bouillon cubes um, it is so good let me tell you why one it's much more um, Packaging wise, uh, reasonable than using one of those big cartons of uh, vegetable broth. Two, it's got like a really, what are they, what's that word, umami flavor? Like it's supposed to be beefy, even though it's a plant based. Three, it is, the ingredients are absolutely exceptional. They're organic. There's nothing, there's no uh, monosodium glutamate in here, sea salt yeast extract, organic cane sugar, chicory extract. So it's good stuff. So I think, I don't know where you can find it. Maybe Whole Foods, maybe you order it online. I don't know, but I use this as my base for so many things, soups, gravies, chicken pot pie. All right, so I already made my broth. I made with hot water, two cubes, three and a half cups of hot water, okay? Other thing I already mixed up was we're gonna need, we're essentially making a roux. And what a roux means is it's like a creamy sauce that is usually flour based. Um, similar to what you would do with a gravy, okay? So I've got a half a cup of nutritional yeast and a half a cup of flour. So I guess maybe the weirdest thing in this recipe is the nutritional yeast, but you can find this at Trader Joe's. So how weird is that, okay? So that's a half cup and it's already pre-mixed, half cup of each and it's already pre-mixed together. All right, the last thing is if for some reason I can't find any in my house, I don't know why, if you can get Bell seasoning, it's like in that little yellow box, it's like a chickeny seasoning, it's used for holidays, right? I would use that, a tablespoon of that, that's all you need. For whatever weird reason, I can't find any of it in my house, even though I normally have like all kinds of a million things. So I'm going to use thyme, a little bit of basil, and a little bit of sage because those are sort of similar uh, chickeny. You can see how thorough I am with my measuring. But what I would suggest for you, one tablespoon of bell seasoning. If you can get it. Or some sort of chickeny, you know what I mean? Like a poultry seasoning. All right. So we have that also mixed in with the flour and the nutritional yeast. That's just gonna be ready for later. And now I'm gonna go take a peek at the tofu and the onions. I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit because nothing good is happening here. I don't want it to burn, but I do want it to be cooking a little quicker than that. Okay. Next step, we're gonna take a potato. And again, you love potatoes, you put a whole big potato. I'm gonna use a half. Um, and I picked out the, um, see I just did like three long cuts. 
Notice I put the flat surface down. I want you to stay safe in your kitchen. Um, and then I'm going to take these flat surfaces and put them down again. Notice I didn't peel it because this is a very thin skin. It's the yellow potatoes. They don't need to be peeled. Or I don't really care about it. If you care about it, peel it. Again, you want these evenly, about the same size as the tofu chunks. And make sure they're evenly distributed or evenly sized because you want them to cook at the same rate. Okay, so there's that. Again, a little more potato, throw it in there. So, yep, things are looking good over here. Onion, the tofu. Next step, oh, by the way, I put about two tablespoons of olive oil in the pan. And I'm gonna add about a tablespoon more. I'm using an organic Wegmans olive oil, just what I use. Because when you make a roux, it's usually fat of some sort, flour, and that's how you make the roux. So I added that oil, and now we've got our cup with our tablespoon of poultry seasoning, half cup of nutritional yeast, and a half cup of the uh, flour. And I just use all-purpose flour. So, let me angle this down a little bit. Ah, here, perfect. So, you know, this is sizzling in here. I'm gonna pour this in and just coat everything evenly with the flour and the, dough and the uh, nutritional yeast and spices. Not like a race, it's nothing that needs to happen really fast. <laughs> Although, it starts to, you can see how things look a little more like cooked and coated, if that makes sense. So ideally, like there's not a lot of the powdery stuff left. It's all stuck to the onions and the tofu. All right, so we'll do that. And then I'm gonna go get that broth. It's just gonna, I mean, it's not like you have to work really quickly, but try not to, you don't wanna dump it all in at the same time because that's when you'll get some lumps. So I'm gonna just evenly distribute from the outside and give it a stir. I wanna make sure that the um, flour and the nutritional yeast are all mixing into the fluid and then I'll do it again. See how this sort of creating this like gravy, which is what we want. Delicious. It smells really good too. All right, put the rest of that in. And I'm gonna bring this to a boil. Now you see there's some left on my um, spatula here, so I'm just gonna grab my knife and scrape it off. and then just get that mixed in. So you just, again, give it a stir. So you want it to be um, moving towards a boil. Ooh, you know what that is? That's for my pie that I already put in the oven. Ha ha ha. Amazing timing. Okay, so. We are gonna stay put for now. And I'm going to, while we're here, you know how those chefs already have like the thing made before they even show you how to make it. Oh, uh, it's really beautiful, but I'm gonna put it back in. I'll show you that it needs another like 10 minutes, which is great because that's all we need for the rest of the filling. Okay, last little piece here. I'm gonna go back over and get the potatoes. Put them in there. I know, sorry, I'm not really good at this. Um, so let's use our little scrapey thing here. Put those potatoes in there. See it's starting to boil. And the last thing we're gonna add, and this is just to make it easy, but if you like specific kinds of veggies in something like this, you can certainly do fresh, um, whatever that would be for you. But I just thought to make things easy, I do a, like,
like a classic mixed blend, just organic. And that is what we are going to add to the filling. I want to put like maybe a cup, a cup and a half. to the bottom of the pan because sometimes that sauce, that uh, flour mixture gets stuck. All right, so turn this down so you want it on a simmer now. You don't want it on a full foil. You just want to see little bubbles coming out. And we are going to let that cook for 30 minutes. And that's when you're going to finish your pie. So let me show you. This is my, one of the pies that I made today. And this one, I did like a really simple, um, presentation, right? And you'll see this later, um, or the making of it. The other one, which is not quite done, but I'm gonna show you anyway, cause it's pretty, is, I got a little more fancy with my decorating and I did some little hearts on top and some crushed red pepper whoa <laughs> that almost came right out of the pan so I gotta put that back in the oven and I will see you for the last installment where we put everything together this is fun hope you're having a good time